Hey everyone, welcome back to Weather on the Go, all your weather coverage on this Sunday, October 13th, 2024. In today's weather forecast, we're going to be talking about a major cool snap across the eastern U.S. that is the coolest potentially of this season thus far. And we're going to be looking at a warm up across the West and we are tracking the tropics. Yes, it's still tropical season and we have a new invest investigative area to watch in the Caribbean as we go into next week. So let's get into the forecast here. Here are your low temperatures this morning and you can see we did dip down into the middle 20s across portions of southern Saskatchewan, even those 20s showing up into eastern Montana, western North Dakota and northwestern South Dakota here this morning morning more 20s up here in Ontario and Quebec Canada and then further south we saw those 30s 40s and 50s here uh, into the United States for the most part but that is the leading edge of that cooler air that's dropping down from Canada into the upper Midwest Great Lakes and New England region as we go through your Sunday with the warmer air expecting here for the mid Atlantic states further off to the west into the southern plains and then across the western half of the United States the west coast and the Rockies and even up into Western Canada. That's where the, the warmer weather will be as we go in towards your Sunday today. So here's your afternoon highs and you can see where the cooler air will be. Into the 40s we go for highs across southeastern Canada, and the 50s for highs across the upper Midwest into the Great Lakes region and 40s. We may only stay in the mid and upper 40s for New England this afternoon and then you transition further south. We have temperatures in the 80s, 90s, even maybe a triple digit or two down toward the Waco, Texas region this afternoon and closing in on the triple digits in Phoenix, a 98 this afternoon. Precipitation here, we are looking at some showers, maybe a few rumbles of thunder across the Great Lakes region here. So if you're in Wisconsin, you're in the upper peninsula of Michigan, the lower peninsula of Michigan, over here toward Lake Erie, and that trickles over into northern Pennsylvania, New York State, over here into Vermont, uh, New Hampshire, Massachusetts. We could be seeing some rain shower activity this afternoon over there. Further south, you can see high pressure, more sunshine, temperatures will be warming up. And then up here into western Canada, could have some showers or snow showers in the higher elevations. Also pretty active up there in Alaska. That will continue as well as we go into tonight and unsettled weather again in those areas from the Great lakes into the New England region. So here's the rainfall amounts as we go through the next 12 to 24 hours. And you can see if you live up toward Duluth, Minnesota, the Green Bay region over here toward Detroit, Fort Wayne, Toledo, over into portions north of Pittsburgh, into the Albany, New York area, you could be getting some wetter weather as we go through tonight. And that could add up to maybe an inch of rain in some of those areas. Otherwise, dry weather for the most part across the rest of the United States outside of Alaska and then Western Canada here, Western British Columbia seeing some heavier rains as well. Snowfall prospects, again, we're getting into that time of year. We're starting to see some heavier snows up here in the parts of Alaska and the Northeast Alaska. We can see over a foot of snow there. Higher elevations of British Columbia up toward Yukon. We could start to see a couple of feet of snow as well as we go through the, your Monday time frame. Looking here at the pattern as we go into the work week from Monday, October 14th through Friday, October 18th, there's that high pressure ridge in the orange extending from up here toward Hudson Bay all the way south and west in toward the United States. We have a big trough across western Canada and a bigger elongated trough from Nova Scotia all the way back into the eastern U.S. here in the east coast. And what that's going to do is provide cooler weather on each coastline. So the western coast of portions of Canada up toward Alaska there, west coast of the United States. We're going to lean below normal with our temperatures this new work week. We got the ridge of high pressure from Hudson Bay all the way south and west of the United States toward the Rockies and Plains. Temperatures will be leaning above normal there. And then the bigger, more elongated trough across Nova Scotia into the eastern U.S. will transition possibly to the coolest air mass we've seen of the season for these areas. You can see in the greens, we could be 25 degrees below the norm for the middle to third 
third week of October. Let's peek into those temperatures. Monday afternoon to start the work week, it's going to be a chilly one. Make sure to bring a jacket because it's going to start off a lot cooler than these numbers are in the afternoon, probably in the 20s and 30s. And then we're going to be into the 40s and 50s for highs Monday afternoon into southeastern Canada up here into the northern and northeastern United States, whereas the warmer air, milder air is going to be further to the south near the Gulf Coast and across the west with more of those 60s, 70s, 80s, and who knows, maybe even some 90s again. Going into Wednesday afternoon, much more of that cool air mass going to push further south. Look at the Gulf Coast, folks. We're at 70 degrees uh, right on the dot there into the Mobile area, 66 for a high in New Orleans, 66 in Dallas and 68 over in Jacksonville. So a much cooler air mass by the middle of the week, and then that will be replaced by, again, a moderating air mass by Friday. And even so, temperatures much cooler than normal in the 60s and 70s. And then look at the Northwest United States by Friday. We're into the 40s and the higher elevations. Uh, lower elevations, we're in the 50s and 60s. And even some colder air than that up there into British Columbia and Alberta, Canada. Well, with this cool air mass, it's going to be dry. So it's going to be the crisp, dry fall weather across the eastern U.S. where more active weather will be transitioning over here into the western U.S. and western Canada through the new work week. And those rainfall amounts will be adding up. So British Columbia over here into the Northwest Territories, into Alberta, Saskatchewan here, especially northern Alberta and Saskatchewan. We could be seeing some heavier rainfall amounts there. And then over into eastern Canada, eastern Quebec, Nova Scotia, Newfoundland, all these areas we could be seeing potentially um, over an inch of rain as we go through the new work week. Drier in the eastern U.S. for the most part. Western U.S., the Rockies, West Coast, we're seeing potentially some rainfall, but nothing to hang your hat about. You know, it's not going to be any drought-busting rains, that's for sure. And speaking of the drought, here is the U.S. drought monitor that was released this past Thursday. It's released every single Thursday. And look at the United States, a lot of the central and western U.S. Uh, getting into that moderate and severe, even extreme drought in some instances there with those red shaded colors. And uh, going through the rest of October, the second half here, that drought concern is going to increase across the Great Plains and parts of the Midwest there up toward Iowa, up toward South Dakota, Nebraska, and then trickling further south into the plains like Kansas, Oklahoma, western Arkansas, and Texas, even parts of western Louisiana. So we're going to be dry out in those areas continuously through the second half of October. Here's your snowfall prospects through the new work week. Again, this is between Monday, October 14th and Friday, October 18th. Heavier snows up there toward the Arctic Circle in northern Canada, but also British Columbia and Yukon and Northwest Territories here getting their fair share of snow, potentially as even in lower elevations, seeing a couple of inches. And then that will trickle down into the higher elevations of the Rocky Mountains across portions of Wyoming, Utah, and Colorado. Western Colorado, that'll be west of Denver, could be seeing a few inches of snow in those higher elevations. Looking at the tropical weather outlook here for the new uh, work week uh, coming up, we do have a 30% chance of a system developing. It's coming off of Africa and into the main development region over the next seven days. And that cone is into the northern Windward Islands, Puerto Rico, and the Dominican Republic and Haiti. So we're going to keep an eye on that. Water vapor imagery does show a very weak wave moving across portions of the main development region. Really doesn't show much right now. But looking at the ocean temperature, the ocean temperature content here in degrees Celsius. It's moving into an area that's thermodynamically favored for development here um, and with the thermodynamic profile. And you can see looking at the European ensemble tracks, the ECMWF ensemble tracks of the system through next Sunday, a week from today through October 20th, that system will come out of the, uh, the main development region, move west toward either the northern Windward Islands, toward Puerto Rico, the Dominican Republic, and Haiti, maybe even taking a run at the eastern Bahamas on this. And you can see it's kind of spread out right now. Some of the members here show the pressure uh, north of the Greater Antilles. Some of it show it into the Caribbean. So it's a matter of, you know, maybe the European model has this moving more into the western Atlantic versus the Caribbean or vice versa. Uh, you're looking at the GFS, the American American Ensemble track guidance going through Sunday, October 20th as well. It takes it maybe a little bit further south than the European guidance shows, maybe more into the Caribbean and then into the Gulf. And you can see that would cause problems for the Western Caribbean and the Gulf and areas there of the United States if the GFS Ensemble was onto something. So that's something we'll track over the next several days. Looking at the experts, uh, you know, predictions over the next couple of weeks here from the Climate Prediction Center. 
That is an area to watch in the Western Caribbean. So maybe the GFS Ensemble is onto something and we're not done with landfalling systems yet, potentially, if that does verify. So we're going to continue to watch this for you folks. No need to panic. Several days out. We'll keep you updated right here on the forecast. Make sure to subscribe to the channel down below for the latest weather information right at your fingertips, whether it's a video or live stream, we'll keep you covered. Make sure to press that, uh, that bell icon so you get the latest notifications for any videos, live streams. Make sure to press the like button down below, especially if you did enjoy today's weather forecast. That's the thumbs up button. Leave any comments, questions, and concerns below. Of course, we'll get to those after my video, and I hope everyone has a wonderful rest of their Sunday out there.